According to newly obtained data from U.S. Immigration, immigration I should say, and Customs Enforcement, the Obama administration detained over 1,300 minors in adult facilities for longer than three days, breaking federal policy. The documents were obtained by the National Immigration, Ju Immigration Justice Center via a Freedom of Information Act. And joining us now with more details from the organization is its executive director, Mary Meg McCarthy, and Quenta May founder, Axel Caballero. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Mary, let me start with you. Why did your organization FOIA these documents? Were you tipped off that minors were being detained? And what did you find once you had possession of the records? Well, we had heard anecdotally that there were cases of children being found in adult facilities. And um, so we started investigating it and thought the best way to get information would be to uh, request data through a Freedom of Information Act request uh, to the Department of Homeland Security to understand what their data shows. Um, <clears throat> so we litigated for a couple of years to obtain this data and we, through the litigation <clears throat> we narrowed our request to just looking at 30 of the 200 adult detention facilities, which ICE uses, or Department of Homeland Security uses, to hold immigrants. And um, over a four-year period, looking just at those 30 facilities, we found that there were approximately 1,300 children uh, detained in an adult jail or prison. These are startling numbers, I should say. Axel, what do we know about the actual experience of those minors who have been detained in this way. According to the LA Times article, which I actually have on my screen right now, minors are often put into solitary in adult facilities to avoid contact with, with other inmates, which is which is equally horrifying. Well, yeah, imagine, I mean, this is the sad state right now of the immigration system, one that has really put in forth, uh, uh, you know, a emphasis, particularly on enforcement and, 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 and detention uh, you know, of migrants and has excluded human rights as a capacity to really deal with uh, our immigration issues. So imagine if you're a child, if you're 12, 13, 14 years old, you're suddenly detained, you're in solitary, you don't know what's going on. And obviously, you can't expect that a 15-year-old will know all of his rights and can demand all of his rights. And what we're doing right now is that we're putting all that emphasis on record amount of detentions and deportations and this is the cost. This is the human cost that is affecting families, that is separating families, and that is having a detrimental effect in the way that we conduct our immigration business today. Uh, Mary, I want to ask you, are you planning to take further legal action based on the findings that you've uncovered through this Freedom of Information Act? Well, we, we've reached out to the Department of Homeland Security, and we are, you know, trying to understand better what is happening. I think right now for us, you know, it's clear there's no legitimate or moral reason anyway to detain 1,300 children in adult adult facility. And um, if there is a reason for keeping them there, we're not aware of what that is. And which is why we really think that we need Congress to step in and, and get control over the system. So with the current debate going on regarding immigration reform, we're hoping that that legislation that comes out will really have some oversight mechanisms to look at who's being detained in the immigration detention system. Do they have access to counsel? Is there some review or individual assessments as to whether or not those individuals need to be detained? Or are there other forms of custody, such as alternatives to detention, which would be more appropriate? The system right now is broken, and there's just there's just been such a dramatic increase of individuals brought into this immigration detention system that there's a vacuum in which human rights violations are rampant. 